Is it the truth or is it a lie? Is it fake or is it real? Is it staged or did that really happen? Nobody cares anymore. People just want to be entertained. And I'm sick of it. So let's get into it. <laughs> man, I still love that intro, man. That is the best intro in the watch game. Again, thanks, D. Eternally grateful. Thank you, D. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Rolex and Real Estate channel. I am your host, Richard Prophet. This is the Apex Predator. And we are out here, and uh, I'm about to light up a stick. And, uh, and I thought, you know what? This would be a great place to uh, shoot tonight's video. So let's get into it. Yeah, man. All right, hold on, everybody. You catch that fight last night? Yeah, we're going to talk about the fight, too. But we're definitely going to talk about the fight. All right, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, what fight are you talking about? Prophet, what fight are you talking about? Uh, last night, last night uh, was the, uh, the, the, the Paul and Diaz fight. Those of you that follow MMA at all, uh, Nate Diaz is one of the dangerous men on the planet uh, he, he, he goes for rounds and rounds and rounds and just when it looks like you got him beat uh, he's like he catches a third and fourth win and he keeps on coming with his face bloody or whatever he just keeps on coming in for the win uh, you know this guy is pretty much you know he's one of the top contenders in the space right in the in the combat sports community. Definitely one of the top contenders. And now, out of nowhere, you got a content creator that comes out of nowhere and uh, beats him last night. Uh, a guy with only eight, eight bouts under his belt beat uh, one of the most dangerous guys on the planet in a fight that was so rigged a blind person could see that uh that that was staged from the very very beginning but so i, I you know i was watching the fight last night and i was with a friend of mine and he wanted to bet on the fight wanted to bet on the fight wanted to bet on the fight right and you know, I was like, okay, you know, I, I'll bet you you want to bet on the fight. That's fine. I, you know, I'll appease you. Um, but I knew the fight was fake. You know, I, I knew the fight was going to be staged from this man's previous bouts, you know, which were all staged. Um, but I just didn't know which way they were going to stage it. Were they were going to this? Were they going to stage it where the YouTuber won, or whether they're going to were they going to stage it where uh, obviously the real fighter wins? But you know, then I thought about it, and I was like, you know, Diaz. You know, even though as great as he once was, you know, uh, 
he's kind of punchy now. Um, you know, he's been around for a long time. I mean, his career is winding down. You know, let's be honest, his career is winding down. And uh, he was looking for a payday, you know. And here comes, here comes this internet superstar. Here comes this internet superstar to offer him a big check. Uh, you know, most likely several million dollars. More than, you know, DS has ever seen. A bigger payday than DS has ever seen. To, uh, you know, to make a fool of himself. And, and you know, and, you know, unfortunately Diaz is not the best actor. So anybody could see that the fight was fake, staged all the way, a thousand percent. Well, my buddy, buddy wanted to bet on the fight. And so I just, I did you know, the deductions, I, you know, I try to make it make sense. And I was like, look, so Diaz could go in there and they could, uh, you know, have him whip his butt, but, you know, that's not going to advance the YouTuber's career. And, you know, Diaz is winding down, so he just needs a payday. So I deduced that they were going to allow the YouTuber to win in grand fashion. And, uh, and Diaz was going to walk away with a multi-million dollar payday. So I bet on on uh, on uh, uh, Paul, the Paul brothers, right? And uh, and uh, I won. <laughs> and uh, my buddy was pissed. My buddy was pissed. He was like, "That's that's that fight is fake. That fight is fake. That fight is fake." I was like, "Yeah, it was obviously fake. You know, it was obviously fake." And you know, they kept panning around the arena. It was in uh, Dallas. Dallas, Texas, I believe. And it was packed. It was sold out. Not an empty seat in the house. And, you know, and everybody there knew that fight was fake. It, it was so obvious. I mean, Diaz is, you know, he's not a thespian uh, in any, in any, way shape or form he's a terrible actor and it was so obvious that you know he wasn't throwing any power in any of the punches that you know uh landed on this guy he could have laid this guy out in the first round but no uh you know it was so the guy the youtuber was going full steam and diaz was just you know maybe five percent tapping him you know and uh it was so stupid, man. It was so stupid. So the guy had no lumps on his face. Uh, Diaz couldn't put a lump on his face. One of the most dangerous men on the planet. Come on, man. So, you know, he got a payday. Uh, and uh, the internet star got another win on his, uh, in, 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 uh, you know, on his stats. We, you know, but uh, my butt. So that leads me to this like so my buddy was like that was so fake that was so fake that was so fake okay yeah but you know the arena was packed the pay-per-views were sold i mean you know i don't i don't know the numbers on the pay-per-views but i know that the arena was packed and uh i'm pretty sure they did fantastic on the pay-per-views um you know so What I'm saying is this. Was it real? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Was it staged? Nobody cares. They just, people just want to be entertained. Why do they, why do you think they tell you, oh, you know, uh, when you're making content for, you know, whatever, you know, you don't you don't have to have the best editing, the best lighting, the best audio. Just put it out there. Put it out there. Create content. Create content. People just want to be entertained, man. They just want to be entertained. Is it real? Is it fake? No one cares anymore, man. We are living in a time where... Is it real? Is it fake? Nobody cares. Are they telling the truth? Are they lying? Nobody cares, man. Nobody cares anymore. I'll give you, I'm going to give you three examples. Number one was that boxing example. That, 
was garbage. That was garbage. It was fake. It was garbage. Nobody cared. Number two. This is particular. These last two. These last two are going to be in particular to my world. Um, let me show you where I'm at. I like to come out here and smoke a nice stick. Come downstairs, smoke a nice stick on the water. Oh, let me show the doggy. Nobody bothers you. Nice calm breeze. Um, all right, so that was one example. Number two. Real estate. All these gurus on the internet, all these gurus selling you programs, selling you videos. Telling you how to courses, you know, it's all BS. Anybody that's in any of those businesses takes two seconds of looking at anything that these real estate gurus on YouTube and Instagram are talking about, and they know, yo, that's crap. That doesn't work. That was 30 years ago. Or well, that's just something they Googled. It's all BS. And most 99.9% .9 of these real estate internet gurus never owned any real estate until they started selling you programs man you know because take it from me uh real estate is not a passive business <clears throat> it is a hands-on business i mean they say they call it passive income I, I understand that but uh it's really a not a passive business it's a very hands-on business even if you uh I want to delegate this and that. You have to become big enough to be able to delegate, to be able to pay uh, different peoples to to accept certain responsibilities and stuff. But when you, especially when you're starting out, like you know, you got uh, less than 25 units or so or whatever, you're gonna be uh, very, very proactive and micromanaging about it, and you're gonna be very hands-on. There's gonna be nothing passive uh, about it. You know, it, 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 you know, uh, you know, once you're starting, but once you get going, it, it, you know, you're able to hire some people and it gets, it gets, uh, I wouldn't say easier. I would just say different. It gets different. Um, but yeah, man, like I see all these people. Oh, why aren't you owning apartment buildings? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do out of state? You know how difficult it is to own own apartment buildings out of state from where you're local to? Oh, just get a property manager or whatever. Anybody that tells you, oh, don't worry about it. Get into real estate. Get into multifamily out of state. You get a property manager. Doesn't know crap about real estate because you come into the real estate game with a property manager out of state and it's your first run that property manager will rob you blind until that building is bankrupt. You understand what I'm saying? So anybody that tells you that, selling you a program to teach you how to do that, uh, instantly delete and block that page, man, because it's all, it's all bull crap, man. It's all nonsense. It's all nonsense. Why aren't you own apartment buildings? No, seriously, why aren't you owning apartment buildings why aren't you a landlord this all look man if these people had any units they had any you know they wouldn't have time to be selling you any programs because they'll be out here like me boots on the ground you know really really doing it really managing a portfolio of units really managing a portfolio of companies out here for real you know i don't have time to create any programs sell anybody any programs you know, I, I, I had people around me. I've made millionaires, you know, but, uh, you know, if people DM me or ask questions on my YouTube, whatever, I'm happy to answer. But I really don't have time 
to do a whole full educational program. The only people that do don't have any businesses in real estate, you know? These gurus, these so-called real estate gurus that you swear by their programs or whatever, whether they're selling you programs, how to do multifamily real estate, how to get loans, mortgages, all this crap, I'll guarantee you they didn't even own a home until you started buying their programs. You know what I'm saying? Yet they're, they're telling you how to do real estate. And it, the best one is how to do out of town multifamily <laughs> with a property manager. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah, it's so easy. The easy part is stealing your money. That's the easy part. <sighs> but again, they figure that most people will buy the program, wait for it excitedly in the mail, anxiously wait for it in the mail, get it, look at the packaging, look at the pictures, and uh, never read the first 10 pages. And they're banking on that. They figure you just leave the program there to collect dust, uh, uh, never realize it doesn't work, and never ask for a, re a refund, you know. They're banking on the laziness of you. They're banking on the laziness of the program buyer. And, you know, I would say 95% of the time they're right. The 5% of the time that they're wrong, that the people actually read the program or listen to the program or watch the program cover to cover, and they uh, realize this is total horseshit. There's, none of this works. I can't apply any of this. None of it works. Uh, and ask for a refund, you know, even if they give 5% of the refunds back, uh, minus, you know, whatever, restocking fee or whatever crap they come up with, uh, they're still getting 90% of your money. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a win-win for everybody involved. Uh, for everybody involved. So, and, and, and again, when people now in this era, when people buy these programs... I don't even think they, you know, want it to be true. They don't want it to be true. They don't care if it's the truth. They don't care if it's a lie. They just want to be entertained, man. That's why this is the era of all of these real estate gurus getting exposed, man. They got all, almost everybody on YouTube selling programs has been exposed with their drop shipping. with the online stores or with the real estate programs or uh, that, that, that radio personality with the guy out of New Jersey that was scamming money, stole millions of dollars, man. I mean, you know, you know, it, it, it's crazy, man. It, it really is crazy. Well, allegedly, you know, I don't, you know, I don't know who's, you know, that's what they say, allegedly, right? That's just what I hear. Some alarm going off in the building. But anyway, man, yeah, so. The only way to learn real estate uh, you want me to tell you here is uh, you want to learn real estate, go out there and do it. Go out there and do it or, or get next to a guy that's really out there doing it and just uh, hang out with him. Hang out with him. That's the only way to learn real estate. You're not going to learn real estate from a book or from a program or for some guy lying to you on, 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 on Instagram. Somebody with a popular Instagram page uh, is not going to teach you any, any, anything about, about real estate. I'm sorry, it's just it's, it's just not gonna happen. They're gonna sell you tickets to something, they're gonna sell you a program to something, and uh, they're gonna go on about their day. Yeah, nobody's gonna tell you that truth, but I'm gonna tell you that truth here. Nobody that's act that is actively out there participating in uh, the real estate world has any time to uh, design and sell you any programs. I'm sorry. 
that. That's just not the way it works. The only way for you to learn real estate is to go out there and do it. Make your mistakes. Or find somebody that you know in your neighborhood, locally or outside of your neighborhood, that you can get next to and just follow him around. You know, be his gopher. Take him to lunch. You know, be or, you know, just be in a room around where he's talking, doing deals, on the phone, listening. Be a fly on the wall and uh, you can pick up some stuff, you know. Or offer to work for his office for free, you know. You just want to be around when they're talking. Like people think, oh, I don't want to work for free, I this and that. You're not working for free, man. You're in a room with a guy, you know, multi-millionaire, billionaire, whatever, and he's talking on the phone all day to his associates, doing business to his friends. That information that you're getting is invaluable. Uh, and it could, you know, it has a big price tag on it, but you're getting it for free, you know? He's not selling it to you, he's just giving it to you. He's saying it and you're just to fly it on the wall in the room where it's going down, man. And you can soak all that up, uh, meet these people, make your own relationships and go forward that is how real estate works you're not gonna you're not gonna make any millions of dollars buying no freaking programs from nobody that sold it to you on instagram i'm sorry it's not the way the real world works but again uh you see uh nobody really wants to get involved they just want to be entertained man they just want to come out to some event on a saturday and for some meetup meet up or oh, the investor meet up uh you know they just want to be entertained man they just want to have something to watch and they just want something to do they just want to be entertained all right i understand that i understand that i really don't understand that but i'm beginning to i'm beginning to that no one wants the truth anymore they they you know, they're not even interested if it's the truth or if it's lies. People are coming out. Are they evacuating the building or what? No, we'll see. But uh, they're not even interested if it's the truth or is it lies anymore. They just want to be entertained, man. They just want to be entertained. Which brings us to our last four instants, man. So let's talk about watches, Rolex watches. So in the watch community, we had a guy, big popular YouTuber in the watch community, had all these followers, made these videos that were just, you know, they were, they were just click, they were consistent, they were it. And all, you know, the, all the watch community, well, most people in the community would watch these guys' videos. And uh, I really didn't care because I'm really a businessman. You understand what I'm saying? So anybody that's really in business uh, would watch one of this guy's videos and say, look, this is, this is baloney. This is baloney. None of this is true. And when I would when I would come on uh, different people in the watch community show, uh, I would say that this guy was full of crap. This, you know, none of that is real. But ah, uh, no, you know, people would because you know the guy was entertaining. He would show uh, ten thousand dollar stakes videos and all this crap. And uh, you know, I knew it was fake. And a handful of other people that are really in business, uh, especially that's part of my OTI channel. Uh, the OTI family. Well, in, on the OTI side of the channel here, uh, everybody's really a, a business person. So, um, or 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 is learning about the business they're about to get in. So, yeah. So everybody knew that that guy was was bogus. I'm not even going to mention his name. I'm not going to give him any light. But um, so whatever. I called him out. I said it was crap. And a little while later, it came out. Oh, he's missing. It was. It was big talk in the watch community. Oh, he's missing, he's this and that. And uh, I was on somebody's show, oh, my buddy Jay's show. And that was big news, everybody was talking about it. And he said, Prophet, what do you think? And my exact words were, I don't give a crap, you know? And everybody laughed, I was like, who cares? You know, that's all 
BS, you know, that's all nonsense. That's all foolishness. This guy's a crook, he's a thief. I said that from the very beginning. And uh, and uh, and that was supposed to be it. He was supposed to have been banned from the community. Uh, nobody was supposed to deal with him. He's like a gray market dealer, watch dealer, dealer. And uh, people were done with him. And then all of a sudden, so a few months go by, I believe. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you see this clown's videos pop up, back up on YouTube, man. I'm like, what? Why? This guy's back around and, you know, his videos start charting again. They start getting views. And I'm like, who, 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 who's watching these videos, man? Who, what fool in the watch community is watching this guy's videos? Who, who allowed him back into the community, man? We already know he's, he's a liar. He's a fraud. He's a phony. You know, but, uh, but again, that's another example. Um, you know, even in the watch community, people don't care about the truth, man. They don't care about the truth. So it just came out again that this phony that I've been calling for years uh, just did some fraud and he stole $5 million or whatever and this and that. And you know what? You know, you guys deserve it, man. You deserve it. You let them in back into the community, man. And you trusted them with your money and your consignment pieces or whatever. <sighs> like, 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 uh, I mean, it's, it's hard for me to say that, you know, you got your money stolen. You deserve it. But come on, man. Come on, man. You don't want the truth. You want to be lied to. And then when your money's stolen, you want to get upset, man. It's like these these people that invest in these real estate programs and or these scammers, they steal their money. Come on, man. Come on. You didn't want to invest. You wanted to be entertained. And you wanted to take pictures for your Instagram with celebrities, with Instagram celebrities, man. So, you know, you're a big boy. Suck it up. You got scammed by a scammer. What do you think a scammer is going to do? Because he's not going to do to you because you're his fan and you're on his IG or you watch his YouTube videos. So he's not going to scam you. Listen, man. You ever heard of the, uh, I believe it's an ancient Chinese story or something like that. I forget, but it's a very famous story about the, uh, the toad and the scorpion, right? I tell this story all the time. So, uh, the toad and the scorpion are on one side of, of the river and they have to get to the other side. Something like this, take a look. So let's say they're on this side and then they have to go to that side. Okay. So there's no way for the scorpion to get across. So the scorpion tells the toad, listen, let me hop on your back and uh, you hop us both over. And the toad, the frog says, no, hold up, wait a minute, how do I know I'm, you're not gonna sting me? And the scorpion says, look, if I sting you, we're both gonna drown, so that makes no sense. Okay, okay, made sense to the frog. So the frog says, okay, you're right, you know, that makes sense, jump on. Boing, 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 boing. Halfway through, the scorpion stings the frog and they both start to sink. And while they're sinking, the frog asks the scorpion. Why'd you sting me? Now we're both gonna die here. We're both gonna drown. And the scorpion tells them, yo, I'm a scorpion. What do you want me to do? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, when you give your money to these scammers, when you send your money to these real estate scammers, when you buy these guru, real estate gurus programs and they don't work, when you give a consignment watch to a proven scammer and he runs off with it, and, you know, if you, when you deal with a scammer and you get scammed, <laughs> what do you expect? What do you expect? And you know what his answer could, could be when you go, hey, you scammed me. You scammed me. You know what he could say? Hey, 
I'm a scammer. What do you want me to do? What do you expect? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So even though I feel bad for people that, that lose money, this and that, but hey, you know, you're dealing with a scammer. You're gonna get scammed. What do you expect? Remember the frog and the scorpion story, man. Uh, the next time, uh, you know, that you want to be lied to. The next time you ask to be lied to. We are in we are in the era of being lied to, man. No one, no one wants the truth anymore. I come on here, I make these YouTube videos. I take time out of my very busy day, my very busy schedule, my very busy week, month, year. And, you know, I'll shoot a little half hour video, an hour video, and give you real game from a real business, businessman, really in real estate. Or a guy that really has a real Rolex watch collection. And, uh, you, you know, none of the views that these guys get that are lying to you. They're stealing your money, man. People want to be lied to. They just want to be entertained. So that's what I told my buddy yesterday, man. When he was frustrated, he had to hand me over the money that he lost on the fight, man. And, you know, it really hit me right then and there, you know. People don't want the truth, man. You can't handle the truth. Remember that? It's not that they can't handle the truth. Maybe then. Now, today, they don't even want the truth. They just want to be entertained. And they're not interested in the truth. They just want to be entertained. They want something to do. They want something to watch. And uh, if you put together a good video, you edit a good video, and you got a good line of bull crap, you know, they'll suck it up, man. And you get hundreds of thousands of views, and uh, and you just set up to uh, to scam the community out of their money, to scam young, hungry, young people uh, that are, you know, hungry to get into real estate, and you burn them, and maybe that turns them off uh, from the from the profession uh, forever, you know, so. Yeah, there's a lot of scammers out there, man. I would say 99% of the people out there right now are scamming, are scamming, uh, selling you make-believe. But again, but again, uh, you know, you're dealing with scorpions. And when you, you know, what do you expect the scorpion to do? So when you get scammed, when you get lied to, when you get ripped off, uh, you know, what do you expect? You know? He wasn't lying to you because you follow him on Instagram. He wasn't going to steal your money because you watch his YouTube videos. Come on, man. So, yeah, man. Uh, that's today's video, man. I'm your host, Richard Prophet, the last dragon, eight god in the city. And, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I should be, I, I'll be in Atlanta. I'm still in Miami. I'll be in Atlanta next week. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get some content going from uh, Atlanta. All right, everybody. I'm your host, Richard Prophet, the last dragon of the watch community. The real last dragon of the watch community, man. Smiting, smiting these foes out here, man. Smiting these liars, smiting these thieves, man. Stop letting people into this community, man, that don't deserve it. Stop letting them in. You know, or if you deal with a scammer, you're going to get scammed. Somebody scams you once, shame on them. But if they scam you twice, shame on you. Shame on you, man. So to the watch community that just got scammed by this two-timer scammer already, you know, shame on the community, man, for allowing this clown back in. You know, I told you before the first time happened, this guy's full of crap. You let him in. How is he back? How is he still scamming? Whatever, man. Whatever, and I hear, I see everybody in the watch community talking about this buffoon. I guess because it gets views, you know. Again, the lies get views, the scams get views, the falsities get views, and the realness, you know, stuff I'm talking about. How really to, how to really succeed in the world? Nobody wants to hear the truth. Nobody wants to hear that. The truth teller is a pest. You know what I'm saying? The truth tellers always talking some crap. Change that. Change that. Who cares?
and the guy that's really got a real watch collection, real Rolex watches, you know, 12 Rolex pieces, you know, a lot of money spent on watches uh, doesn't get the views that a guy with one steel watch gets. <laughs> Uh, anyway, man, I'm your host with your prophet, the last, the real last dragon of the watch community. Uh, if you're if you're considering going over to the OTI side of the channel, we go commercial free, we go ad free, we go banner free, and uh, we curse sometimes, and we talk topics where where it's just not for everybody. It's just not for the general public. So it may not be for you, but. If you've seen some of the titles and, you know, it feels right and feels like something you might want to do, check it out. And uh, I'd love to see you over there. All right, everybody. I'm out of here for real this time. I'm Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Mm, Apex Predator is back by popular demand, baby. Oh. oh, hold up. Before we sign out, I just want to send a special shout out to Sugar Hill vega 83 what's up my brother i see you man and uh i'm really proud of you you're really doing your thing i enjoyed meeting you and your wife and uh yeah man and i'm seeing your comments and i'm really appreciating them and i'm glad i inspired you brother and i'm glad uh uh you're sucking up the information shout out to you sugar hill vega 83 go check that man out on uh on instagram go check him out go give him a follow He's a real member of the family, and he's, a, and he's a real Rolex man. He's a real Rolex lover. Check out his wrist. Check out his Instagram. All right, everybody. I'm out. All right. Cheers, family.